If you're one of those that take good care of your car, but don't have the right resources to maintain the new car shine, this video is for you. I'm going to go over step by step on how you can maintain your own vehicle at home. Your vehicle's appearance plays a major role in standing out amongst the rest. I will show you how to turn your car from this to this and from this to this once the pre-wash phase is done you want to use a bug remover to help loosen up the bug guts that is embedded in your car's grill. We're going to let that sit for a couple of minutes to help loosen up those bug guts so it'll be easy to remove when you scrub it off. After letting the bug remover sit for a few minutes, use a bug remover pad to scrub away those nasty bugs. Don't worry, these pads are designed not to scratch your paint. Now before your foam bath, you want to start on your wheels and tires first. Start by saturating the tires and rims with a wheel cleaner. Scrub the tires with a coarse brush to get into the small crevices of the tire. Make sure the tire is free from dirt and oil before moving on to the rims. Use a wheel brush to get deep behind the wheel and scrub away the brake dust that is accumulated by the brakes. Don't forget your wheel wheels. Those are the second dirtiest parts of the car because it collects whatever the wheel throws at it. Okay, it's time to foam up. Use a foam cannon to throw suds on your car. Make sure every part of the car is completely covered. while using the two bucket method. Begin washing the vehicle in up and down strokes. Never wash in circular motions because those are breeding grounds for swirl marks. Use a garden hose or a pressure washer to wash away all the suds and leftover dirt.
use a drying towel to dry the entire vehicle. This is the second method to creating swirl marks. So what you want to do is drag the towel over the car and dry in horizontal patterns. Make sure you blow out any leftover water that could be in the cracks and crevices so it won't run on the side of your car and leave a water spot. Now it's time to protect the car. You can use any protection, wax, sealant, or even a ceramic coating. Well, in this video, I'm using a Tech 582. It's a ceramic detail spray. Um, I have it listed down in the description if you want to get a bottle. Last step is to dress the wheel. You wipe the wheel from any water or any dirt left behind and bring out that shine. Use a wheel protector to dress the wheel. This particular dressing that I'm using is Chemical Guys uh, VRP, uh, which is vinyl, rubber, and plastic. In my opinion, it bonds to the wheel better and gives it a, you know, the tire a deep wet look uh, that lasts for weeks. And like I say in every video, show your work.